Hello and welcome to the Creation Kit scripting series, Papyrus Tutorials. In this episode, the fifth part, we are going to talk about while loops. They aren't functions, but for the future content, we need to cover while loops before, or looping in general, before we get into what functions can do in the future. I'm not going to go into too much details because I don't want to worry anybody if they've heard about that concept. Alright, so, what is a loop? It's a series of actions that execute over and over until uh, the condition is met. Uh, let's look outside of Papyrus real quick and look at for loops. Uh, so, typically you have some integer, uh, a lot of people use i, uh, set it to zero, and then for i, and then you increment i on each time you call the loop, and you only do this until it goes from zero to nine in this case, because we have i less than 10. And it will execute 10 times because you're using a 0 index instead of a 1 index. Uh, and let's look at a while uh, example because this will apply more to what we're going to talk about on the next slide. Uh, while the death count is less than 3, do the specific action. Uh, the x will be the actions that the while loop does, and it will keep doing this until uh, death count is 3. Who knows what's in the x portion though, so it might never get to 3. Uh, so what is a while loop? It is a loop that keeps executing its contents until a particular value comparison is met. We saw an example on the previous slide of a while loop. Uh, there's many other combinations. Basically you're doing a v variable comparison and uh, that condition needs to be met. Typically, you iterate that value if it's like an integer or float in the while loop. Iterating meaning you uh, increase the value or decrease the value each time you call the loop. Uh, Alright, so how do you start a while loop? You start off with uh, the while keyword, and then you have your uh, variable comparison or a boolean because uh, variable comparisons are booleans, essentially. And then, underneath that, treat it like a function, put all of your content down there about variable assignments, variable changes, function calls. And then at the very end, you do end while. Um, I have an example down here. Uh, I didn't put the content because this example comes from a script I've done for somebody else's mod. Uh, for some interesting function functionality. So while uh, the list size, because there's a form list involved here, is greater than zero, do all the actions underneath it. Um, and then you end uh, the while loop. Why would you use while loops? Well, uh, it's very useful if you're checking an array or a form list, so you can go through uh, each of the elements of those things uh, because arrays and form lists they uh, list everything sequentially from zero to whatever the bottom element is and then you can also use while loops uh, to add things to an array or a form list uh, that would be useful in that case um, if you want a function to be performed a certain number of times, like uh, adding health, locking different doors, um, spawn this many creatures from a given cell uh, on top of the player, just lots of things like that. And then if you need to perform a series of actions a certain number of times, such as uh, you're adding profits to a chest based on number of items invested or gold investments, and you want to just keep going through that process until you hit uh, the two conditions there that uh, govern that. Uh, so let's play around with while loops for a moment. So let's go back to our cell. I've called it functions while, and we have the same variables here. We're not going to do anything different there. And we're going to have all the same functions, but we're going to add a new function. Inputs, uh, two values, and two integers, let's say, integer values. 
um, first number to add uh, and second number how many times to add and let's go to here and say the purpose of this function is to add one to a number x amount of times add one to value x times int value and then int num times oh, we want to keep consistent on our variables All right so we're going to do a while block Now let's do a temporary value uh, eval and we're going to have that equal to value. Let's just get that uh, started. Um, we're also going to have int uh, counter and that's going to equal to zero while counter is less than the num times because that's where we're going to do our logic and let's do in functions so we don't forget that part so being a temp variable for the value and assigning a loop counter. Adds uh, one to the value each loop call. So what we want to do is new val plus equals uh, one and we also add one to the loop counter. So counter plus equals one. And as our final step, return the new value. Return new val. So, very end, if the creature's dead, we'll do that. Let's Since we know this part's working from our past videos, let's comment that out. Debug.message box. And then new value of hell giver. Death count is. And then we're going to call our new function add one to value x times and we're going to give it zero and we're going to have get death counter and this should work the same way let's compile our function and find out Okay, it's compiled. Let's save. And I will.
will see everybody soon in game to test it out. Alright, we are in game, so we should be able to test out and see if Wild well works soon in the way that we've implemented it. Examples of while loops, but we only need a basic understanding before we go into the next topic. And the next topic, we will definitely be spending multiple episodes and go over a multitude of examples so that we understand what's going on. Anything you can do with the while loop, you'll be able to do with our next topic. Okay, Hellskeever, Hellskeever, where are you? There we go. Oh, that's... Due to its size, it's not... Not have that happen again. What? Not cast. Waiting for the housekeeper to spawn again. All right, it has updated the count to one. The be. Is near. So the wild loop worked for one time. has gone through and updated the counter to two. Oh, that's... So, when it uh, updated to two, it called the loop once for the first time to add the value, then it called the loop a second time to add the value, and then it terminated the loop because it met the condition on how many times it should execute. Um, that's it for the live testing portion. I'm going to get back to the video now for the conclusion. And that is it for while loops in the events and functions segment of uh, the papyrus tutorials. Sorry, I had a brain freeze for a moment. Uh, Here's my contact information. I will also have it in the uh, video description. There will also be le links in the description. I uh, haven't been mentioning this until now, but uh, there will be annotations on all my old videos, and I will have it on this video too. Um, if you need to message me, message me at this contact information or on the YouTube page itself. If you have questions about while loops, past videos, future videos, uh, scripting questions in general, scripting video uh, topic requests also are helpful. Um, any feedback you have on the videos is also helpful. And I will see everybody on the next uh, video. Enjoy.